Okay, so we finally made it home. First day was a little rough. We had a bunch of swaying issues with the trailer. It's very difficult to keep it in my own lane, let alone the 40 mile an hour winds that were going across Texas. And so, you know, in the past I've always had a weight distribution hitch, you know, just like that right there, but never any sway bars because never needed them. Pulled plenty of trailers. Travel trailers, car trailers, you name it, never an issue. Um, so, Ben Notgrass over at America Go RV, he told me, call me anytime. And so, if I ever had any questions or anything, and that's not where we purchased the trailer from, but he worked there for 20 years. And I tell you what, this guy is spot on. When he says, call me, you can call him, and he'll get right back to you. So, I called called him there's his hat that he gave me super nice hat and he told me I needed an Anderson Anderson uh, sway control with weight distribution and I was like okay where's it at so on the way back it was an hour and a half one way out of our drive and we pulled into this little RV place and um, I took a look at it and saw how small the box was and I'm like how in the world is that going to help me keep this thing in one lane? And I tell you what, the technology that's behind this sway and um, weight distribution hitch is actually amazing. I mean, it took it from a nightmare to keep in one lane to no problems. You know, I mean, we were we were doing 40, 45 miles an hour in an, in an 80 mile an hour zone, or not faster in Texas, and really slowing traffic down but uh yeah anyway so i am a firm believer in this anderson weight distribution anti-sway control system the part number that i got was the 90 nope the 3350 is what i had the 3350 super easy to install super instructions um yeah, what a difference I can't I can't speak highly enough of it. Just completely changed the way this truck pulls uh, this travel trailer. This travel trailer only weighs 6,100 pounds, and uh, I don't know. Obviously, there's a difference in design from the old school travel trailers from the 90 from 1999, 2000. You know the way they're building them now, and with the combination of the truck setup, you know. It made it for an interesting ride, but we don't have that problem anymore. So even in 45 mile an hour wind gusts across New Mexico, no issues, still good to go. So anyway, if you have any questions or want to know anything about this or how this installs, let me know, shoot me a comment, and I'd be more than happy to, to show you how this hooks up and how you preload it and everything else. Until then, we'll see you next time on our exciting adventures. Thanks.